Hey 7th graders, today what you're going to be working on is the cell transport Venn diagram. So if you're looking in Schoology, uh, this is going to be in the week one folder and it's just called cell transport Venn diagram. Um, if you are a uh, Thursday, Friday or distance learner, you are doing this today on Wednesday. Um, if not, you'll be doing this on Friday later in the week. The important thing is that you are doing this after you have completed the lesson outlined for moving cellular material. So in Schoology, I've got an attachment here for you, and it's a note file. And so it's only going to work in Notability because it's going to be sort of a drag and drop activity. So you need to first send that over to Notability. And yes, it will not let you preview it, but when you send it to Notability, uh, then you'll be able to see it correctly. Uh, just for <clears throat> your sake, uh, you need to give this a title so you're going to be able to find it later. Then once you've got that in Notability, um, you'll just be using the text box tool <clears throat> to drag and drop items into the Venn diagram. So first you need to select the text tool so that that's what you're going to be using. And then I've got a list of terms down here. Um, and uh, you're just going to be dragging and dropping these into the correct circles on the Venn diagram. So I'll help you get started. we got to first have um, headings for the two different sides. And so that's going to be passive and active transport. Uh, really doesn't matter <clears throat> which one of these that you use uh, on each side, but um, we'll drag those in there. So you see when you tap on the text box, <clears throat> you if you take the top part, uh, you're able to just drag the text box around and move it. And so you're just going to continue doing this, um, <clears throat> dragging these different things into the correct sides. So passive transport, if you remember from your lesson outline, um, that is transport that does not use energy from the cell. So you would simply highlight that box and drag it into the passive transport side. Active transport does require energy from the cell. Just like when you are active, it requires energy. So you would simply highlight that box and drag it into the active transport side just like that. So we're just going to be comparing the two different kinds of transport by dragging and dropping uh, the examples and uh, some more definitions into the correct sides of the Venn diagram. There are some on the second page here, so don't miss those. Um, use your lesson outline or the science book to help you out with this. All right, uh, hope this helps. Have a great